this young Oyege Muzi today. I want to talk about a little bit about rich people, right? Don't get me wrong. Getting rich is not a bad thing, but it depends on how you use your money to impact life between or around you. So let's say, example, if you have your money and you use your money to oppress people, it means to King Solomon, the money is meaningless to him. So when God bless you, God wants you to impact other lives. Don't use your money to oppress people. So that's why in the book of uh, Ecclesiastic written by King Solomon, King Solomon states about 10 things. If you are a rich person, if you are not following some of these things, it means your rich is meaningless. So he states some of the things there. Number one, he said, if you see the poor oppressed in a deceit and justice and rights he denied, do not be surprised at such things. For one official is high by a higher one, and over them both are other higher still. So what does that mean? Let's say if you have your money, you have a problem with a less privileged somebody. So you use your money in in, in in court system to rule the right of the less privileged man. It means you are using your money to oppress people. That's what King Solomon tried to say. So to, to him, if you have your money, you are using some of this to oppress people that don't have much. It means meaningless to him. And he states another thing also. He said, the increase from the land is taken by all. The king himself profit from the field. What does that mean? Say, the increase from the land is taken by all. So meaning, rich people use their money. We, we all see some of these things in visual. We see, when somebody have a money, he can, he can get whatever he wants. Even though it's not right in the eyes of God, but in this world, we are seeing a lot. So, number three, he said, who, who? He said, whoever loves money never has enough. That's exact. People who love money, they never, ever satisfy with whatever income they have. They will go all out because they want to keep their status so that they can use their money to oppress people. That's what King Solomon means. Then he said also, whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. Exactly also. People who love so much to be wealth, to get everything, in, even though they have everything in this life, they will never, ever satisfy. So that's why he said, this too is meaningless. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying getting money is a bad thing but if you are not using your money in the right way it becomes a bad and you will pay a price so that's why whatever you sow here you will reap it that's a time you will reap so be careful things that it goes to other people then also he said as goods increase so do those who consume them and what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eye on them that's what also king solomon said again he said also the sleep of a labor is sweet whether they eat little or much but as for the rich their abundance permit them no sleep exactly whenever people get rich they will always worry they worry about their money they don't want their money to they don't want to be broke anymore so they want they just want to continue that stage but for us as a poor man he don't care he will get one year today and eat today 
He don't care about tomorrow. But for a rich people, oh my God, they will go all out. Sometimes they don't even sleep. Then also King Solomon said also, he said, I have seen a grievous evil under the sun. So he said, he see a lot. So this King Solomon read this book about his own experience. Because God gave him so much power that he forgets that he's above everything. But the good thing is, he come back and repent. So that's why he reads this book, so that people will learn from these things. Ecclesiastic, it's in chapter 5 and 10, he talk about these things. So, becoming a rich person is not a bad thing, but don't use your money to oppress other people. If he does that, you will pay for it. That's why whatever, whatever things you read today, you're going to pay for it tomorrow. What you sow today, you pay for it. That's why if you become a rich, please use your money wisely. Don't oppress people. So thank you.